she just left my kids in the house when I came back from work. Mm. And my kids, two of my kids are dead. What, what am I, what do I, what do I got to do? They dead. Wow, new tonight, we are hearing the disturbing 911 call. It's from the mother accused of murdering her two small children. Atlanta police say Lamora Williams killed her children by placing them in an oven, but that's not what she told emergency dispatchers when she made the call. News Edge anchor Tom Haynes here now with this, well, what do you, what do you call it? Un unsettling video doesn't even begin to describe it, does it? Yeah, Russ and Sine, the mere thought of the torment these two children might have gone through is disturbing enough. Now we have the 911 call from their mother, who's in jail tonight, charged with murdering her baby boys. But in this disturbing call, she blames someone else for their deaths. The call starts with Lamora Williams telling 911 dispatch she came home from work and discovered her one and two year old son's dead. The call quickly gets graphic. When I came in, the stove was laying on my friend's, my youngest son's head, and my other son was laid out on the floor with his brains laid out on the floor. I don't know what to do. I just came home to work from this. And she okay. just left my baby still. Okay. Williams first telling the dispatcher her cousin was babysitting and left the children alone. But then, in a bizarre twist, she then asks the operator to assure her she won't be blamed for their deaths. Can you please help me? Like, can you please tell me? Like, I don't want to get locked up because this is not my fault. I had just came home from work. But police say that's not what happened. They say 24-year-old Williams put one-year-old Jakarta and two-year-old Keontae Penn in the oven sometime between midnight Thursday and 11 p.m. Friday. Both of my children are dead. Their head is burnt. Their, their skull is laying on this floor. The stove is, one of my babies is stuck. The stove is pulled over and everything. At the same time that 911 call was happening, the boy's father also calls 911 from his workplace, telling dispatchers Lamora Williams had just video called him, showing him his dead sons. She video called me and showed me this, and I seen it. What's the address? And I really think they are really dead. Boy, another child was also found alive in the apartment that day. Lamora Williams' mother says that her daughter suffers from severe mental illness. Jamil Penn, who you just heard from there, the boy's father, told Ryan Cameron on the radio this morning, the community is rallying to support his family during this unimaginably difficult time. Mm. Sine? So, so terrible.